concept of a burst panel can actually be traced back into the 1960s. The top fuel and funding cars teams actually designed it to help relieve pressure and to help save engine parts. Now, in the case of the funding car, this has evolved over the last few years. They take the same basic principle to help save the funding car bodies. You have the burst panel here, which is anchored for with aluminum bolts, or in this case, uh, plastic tie wrap. In the event of an explosion, all that energy is generated underneath the body. Well, that pressure needs to be relieved, so thus it blows this burst panel off, relieves that pressure, and hopefully in that event keeps the funny car body from splitting and or flying off with the race car. As a result, to save the team as much as $50,000, which is what one of these funny cars' body will cost the team nowadays. Well, as you can see, the burst panel on the engine is much smaller, but the premise is the same as the one we saw on the body. In the event of an engine explosion, basically the fuel and air is lit off into the manifold. That pressure from that explosion will be released through this panel, thus helping save the blower from splitting and the manifold splitting itself. As we remove the supercharger, you can see where these two are located right here on the manifold. Now, if the explosion, fuel and air is lit off in the manifold here, it'll blow these panels off, thus relieving the pressure. Now, if you notice, we have a wire here. Since the tragic event that took the life of Scott Coletta, the number of teams has come up with some different ideas to try to help the driver in the event of a catastrophic explosion that we saw. What happens here is when the burst panels are blown out, this wire gets disconnected. When that wire is disconnected, it automatically applies air pressure to, some, to a valve on the fuel shutoff and also on the parachutes to activate both those systems. You're closing the fuel off, you're getting the chutes out, and it also kills the ignition. The key here is in the event of a major explosion, you always get that concussion, and that concussion will actually stun a driver just for an instant. And then you basically assess what's going on. Well, you're talking about maybe one or two seconds. At 300 miles per hour, as this funny car is traveling normally when that happens, you're talking about 1,000 feet before the driver actually starts to do anything. This new system actually helps alleviate that problem, and it's a tremendous safety advantage for the driver in the event of one of those major explosions. So as you can see, a concept developed almost half a century ago to save parts and pieces on these cars has evolved to not only save parts and pieces, but also help aid the driver into getting a car stopped safely.